hey everybody welcome back to uh, Dirt Hawk Wineries uh, what I plan on doing today is show you a little bit about how I bottle my wine I've got some that's uh, ready to go now uh, four carboys worth of wine and that's equivalent to probably 25 bottles of carboy so today I'll probably just be doing 50 uh, and uh, what I wanted to do one of the uh, things I kept repeating on my first video, I kept referring to the product that comes in the canisters as wine. Well, it's not wine. It's juice. It's juice that's already pressed from the grapes. And that's how you buy it. And it's not wine until you add your goodies to it. Okay? Now, uh, one of the things that I wanted to show you, and I'm going to pick you up here right now. Uh, the first thing you want to do is we're going to take and make up some sanitizer. And this is a bottle of the sanitizer that I use. It's a uh, tablespoon of powdered sanitizer. And then I'll fill it with warm, lukewarm water let it dissolve and shake it up real good okay now the next thing I do of course I've got all my bottles out here that I'm going to need uh, I put together my bottle tree and this is my bottle tree bottle tree holds 49 bottles I'm going to need about 50 for these first two carboys and uh, basically what you do with this, it's pretty simple. Uh, a bath goes on the top of it. And the uh, sanitizer, of course, fills a bath. Now we have a plunger on top. And what that's going to do, let me get, get one of my wine bottles here. Okay. When I finish with a wine bottle... I take and clean it out with real hot water, <clears throat> turn it upside down and let it sit overnight and I put a take a piece of paper towel cloth and make a make a little cork out of it. And that's the way I leave them till I'm ready to bottle again. Okay, now we're gonna take this bottle and sanitize it. And usually the way I do it is with two hands, but right now I'm holding the camera so all you do is plunge it up and down two or three times and you can see the sanitizer running up into the bottle okay and it completely coats the inside <clears throat> now the actual liquid sanitizer is not what sanitizes your bottles it's the uh, uh, actual air that comes from the sanitizer is and that's what does the sanitizing okay now I let it drip out a little bit and then I'll go ahead and put it in its place here on the bottle tree and usually by the time I'm done with uh, filling up the bottle tree most all the bottles will be empty they're not going to be dry inside, but the sanitizer doesn't hurt the uh, uh, wine a bit. It doesn't affect it at all. Okay, now let me show you some. Here are the last, uh, actually, five carboys that I got on uh, September 9th, uh, 2016. Okay, and when I when I finish bottling these carboys I'll be putting the uh, I'll be transferring the wine from the six gallon carboys over to these five gallon but I gotta make room in these things and that's by bottling okay so I've got uh, first one I'm going to do is a Ruby Cabernet and uh, you can see how nice and clean that is um, 
I bought this, well actually it was 9-22-15 Ruby Cabernet and then I have two Merlots and a, and a black Malvasia I like red wine so this time I decided to get all reds well that, that was in uh, actually in uh, 2015 now the wines that will be bottling up after these uh, I did get a Pino Grazio and you can it hasn't even been racked yet you can see how clear it is already okay so all right when I get ready to uh, start bottling yeah here we are when I get ready to start bottling uh, I'll go ahead and turn the camera back on and show you uh, what I do with the tubing and how we do the bottling catch you later okay guys there's my bottle tree okay she's all filled up to the top and so the next thing we're going to be doing is setting up for the uh, uh, actual bottling so I need to get my tubing out my bottler and uh, start sanitizing some of that stuff be I'm right back right with you hey look who showed up my little buddy Benny he's over there with mommy Ben come here Ben you gonna help me today Huh? you gonna help me today buddy mm -hmm. huh isn't he pretty he's a pretty boy yeah he's a pretty boy <laughs> we got him on uh... okay we'll be back with hey dirt hawk winery's back here um wanted to show you a couple of the items i use for bottling and uh one of them is going to be this uh this is the actual bottler this is the item that goes down inside the bottle itself and uh as you can see let me get you set up here on this one end you have a little tip sticking out and the wine won't come out of this obviously until it's pushed up and that that hits the bottom of your bottle and that's where your wine goes down into okay now that goes on the end of this uh, this is my pump this is my pump and hose and the pump end of it will go down into the bottle it'll go right it'll go right down in here like this and what I'll do is tape it so it's just a little bit up off the bottom so we're not picking up a lot of, uh, of the, what they call the mother now if it gets into the wine it doesn't hurt it a bit it doesn't have any thing to do with its taste it's perfectly fine but uh, some people like to see a clear bottle of wine all the way down to the bottom now here's another one of the reasons why we put these uh, locks on obviously it's to keep air out but it's also to keep insects from getting in and one of the things that loves to be around wine are gnats and you can actually see right here one there and I think this is one over here on the inside of this now the cap to let the gases escape has small holes in it but yet they can still get down through there so uh, that's why the uh, water is in here and usually I don't know why I like to use vodka I put vodka in there sometimes some of it will drip down into the wine so you know alcohol and alcohol mixes pretty good so okay when I start bottling 
I'll come back to you and uh, we'll see how that's done. I'll show you how to make a mess. Okay everybody, uh, I just pumped some sanitizer through my pump and also through my tubing and then I put the uh, my bottler on the on the end of the tubing here it is and we're ready to rock and roll so I'm gonna have my lovely assistant here hold the uh, bottler and she's gonna put that down in the bottom of this bottle okay and then I'm gonna give this a couple of pumps and it doesn't take much actually actually there we go it was one pump and it's starting to fill I don't know if you can see that but it'll fill up pretty fast okay when it gets close up to the top then you have to pull it out obviously and I'll touch the side of the little thing in the bottom and I already spilled some wine okay then the same thing with the next bottle she goes in there and starts filling up and so on and so forth okay so basically that's it as far as filling the bottles and uh, when we get the rest of them filled we'll probably uh, start corking and we'll show you how we do that be back in a little bit hey dirt hawk back here did pretty good on good on those uh, on that first carboy with the Ruby Cabernet uh, I had to taste a little bit and man was it good nice and sweet um, okay I'm gonna pan around here and show you that we got actually 25 and almost a full bottle close to 26 bottles out of the one carboy and I've already cleaned that up and it's sitting up top here and <clears throat> later on uh, I'll be racking these six gallon bottles into the fives so anyhow let me sit you up here and uh, gonna try to show you how I do these bottles I've I've got the uh, the style of corker it's actually a two-handled corker and they have other ones that have legs on them three legs sit them on the floor and they're a little more expensive but I just chose to go with this because I don't really do that much bottling so anyhow <clears throat> what we do I just took my uh, cork I've got a little bath of uh, my sanitizer here and I dip my cork in it we'll put it inside the corker the corker goes on the bottle okay she's ready to go and you just press it like that okay I don't know if you can see that but it puts the cork down in there pretty well and uh, I don't bother putting any uh, collars or labels on the bottles to me that's just another expense basically I'm the only one that's drinking the wine um, 
I do share it with my uh, relatives, in-laws and laws, and uh, they, they're kind enough to save the bottles for me and clean them out. And I recycle all my bottles. Uh, it's a lot cheaper if you buy a case of bottles, they're going to charge you about a buck, a buck five or a buck ten per bottle. So anyhow, basically that's it as far as the bottling goes. <clears throat> and then what I'll do is start filling up my rack. Okay. And this rack probably holds, I think it's 27 bottles. So I've got two racks, and then when I get into my other bottle or carboy and start bottling the uh, my Merlot over here, um, I'll probably be stacking that in ca in cabinets and and these drawers, and then over on the other side of the basement, I've got another uh, old entertainment center, and I'll probably stack some bottles in that. I like to stack my bottles and uh, really it's the way it should be done. They should be stacked so the corks are, are kept uh, wet by the wine product at all times. Okay, that way you don't have to worry about a cork drying out and your wine leaking out. So basically that's bottling and uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started on the rest of these. and to kind of get me in a groove I like to turn on my old stereo and get some rock and roll music going here so okay guys that's it uh, I'll catch you in a while y'all take care be right back okay Dirt Hawk Wineries back here uh, there's 50 bottles that have been bottled and corked and uh, <clears throat> the uh, next thing I'm going to do is these these this is the wine that I just got uh, this year's wine and I've got my pump in there and my hose and now I'm going to rack this wine down into a five gallon jug the ones I originally put them in are six gallon and we put them in a five gallon jug that way you don't have too much air space at the top because you don't want a lot of air hitting your wine so what we'll do is go ahead and get this pump going kind of tough to do one handed there we go it's running and that's what I like to do with it uh, let it run down the sides that way it won't uh, create any create any foam So this is called racking. Just all it is is taking your wine out of one bottle and putting it in another. And you want to rack it two, three, four times maybe to get all the impurities out of it, all the stuff on the bottom. And uh, basically that's what I'm doing with the beginning of this. So I'm going to let this drop in there. Shut the video off for now and we'll be back. Okay guys, get ready to uh, rack my last bottle. <clears throat> this is the, uh, it's called uh, Chateauneuf du Pape and it's a, uh, usually we refer to it just as Pope wine 
and it's a wine that was supposedly uh, developed for the for use at the Vatican okay now I'm gonna go ahead and rack this into this smaller five gallon uh, carboy and then the only thing I've got left to do for today it's about five o'clock now I started around 11 um, well actually not for today what I'm going to be doing maybe in a day or two is I've got these two five gallons here this is a Merlot and that's Merlot love my Merlot <clears throat> they're going to be bottled and then I've got a Merlot here that I bought September 2016 that's the latest wine and a black Malvasia also uh, that was my recent wine that I got that was on 9 uh, 26 16 <clears throat> so these two get bottled these two get cleaned emptied and cleaned and then these two more recent wines this black Malvasia and this Merlot will be racked into these two bottles so anyhow just about winding down on things and uh, probably the end of this video so maybe when I start shooting uh, or doing some other things with the wine I'll go ahead and uh, do some videos on that so this is uh, Dirt Hawk Signing off for Dirt Hawk Wineries. Catch you all later. Alright, I just uh, <clears throat> finished racking uh, two of my bottles. And I just wanted to give you a look at some of the residue that ends up in the bottom of these. Now this is the first racking. So each time you rack it, you're going to have less and less uh, residue in the bottom of the bottle. But if I, I don't know if I can get a shot down inside there. That's quite a build up. <clears throat> but that's what you want. You're starting to clarify your wine. Okay. Catch you all later. Okay, guys. Check it out, man. Everything's covered up. I like to put uh, old sheets over top of my bottles keeps all the dust out. Got my bottles that I just uh, racked out of. They're all cleaned up. There's the bottles that I bottled. They're wrapped up and uh, covered with a sheet. And I got a brewski here. Listening to my music. And all I want to say is Happy Fourth of July. <laughs>